and I'm back with the for loop. Now the for loop for me is the most easy and simple type of looping. What it simply does is set up a parameter and the following code follows that parameter. For example, we set our variable and now for a, which is a variable, for a is equal to 1 to 10, do write a. Now this simply does, what, what this simply does is for 1 to 10, we write it. So for 1 to 10 would be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 to 10, and we now, and we're just writing it, writing that. We run, and it just runs, and from we count from 1 to 10. Now, we can modify that a lot. We can really modify that. This is, I think it's pretty simple. So, what we can do here is, instead of writing the numbers themselves, what we can do is just write a number. No, sorry. We can write a statement, like, um, Happy Holidays. Happy Holidays. So what that does is for A, 1, 10, instead of writing A, we write this, what's inside there, inside the brackets there, inside the uplifted commas there, we write that 1 to 10 times. So compile and we run. And it's run 10 times. Let's see. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Now this is a pretty nice thing to use. What we can do is add stuff onto it and we can do a lot of stuff with it. Like say um we can do write a plus one compile and run. Now we get 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. But it's 10 times we have it here because it is actually adding 1 to A, which is the first A. So we're adding 1 to that and we're adding 1 to every number. So 1 plus 1 would be 2. That's why there is no one there, and if you want a one there, we can put zero here, zero, and run. So we have one to eleven. Pretty neat, huh? Yeah, pretty neat. So thanks for that, and that is the end of my loops. Thanks for watching, everybody.